Hello and welcome back to Mainly Menswear. My name is Dwayne McLeod and I'm glad that you're here. Today is the second video in a series on making the quadra jeans by Thread Theory Design. And in this video, I'll talk a little bit about putting in the zipper, which I'm glad to report went in really easily, and talk about doing the flat fell seams on the inseams and getting the jeans sort of all put together. So let's dive into video number two. Welcome back to the Quadra Jeans un -so along uh, Where we left off um, in the first video, I was ready to put in the zipper. And um, I'm really happy with the way this all turned out. I basically just followed the instructions. Um, if you have questions about putting in the zipper, you might want to uh, refer back to my video on the Jedediah pant because the construction is essentially the same. I just have really one comment about uh, the zipper. Unlike the uh, Jedediah pant, this these jeans have what's called a sewn on fly. So um, this is the fly shield and it is uh, actually sewn on to the front of the pant. And what I would do um, after sewing that uh, fly shield on, I would understitch it. And there are instructions in the in the pattern on how to understitch, but basically you kind of iron press all of the seam allowances, uh, in this case towards um, the fly shield. And then you would like uh, stitch the shield to the actual seam allowances. And what that does is it, it prevents the, the shield from rolling out. And the other advantage to doing this on this particular pattern is that the instructions call for you to top stitch a, an edge stitch along the front of the fly. And by under stitching that you have a much more substantial uh, kind of edge here and it makes the uh, edge stitching go so much easier. So with the fly all in, uh, the next step is to uh, do the flat felt seams on the inseams. The way that I like to do this is I like to set my, uh, my jeans out the way they're going to look when they're finished, sort of like, you know, you could step right into them in a way, in a way. So here, here's the, you know, inside of the back. And then if you, you know, flip your fronts up like this, this is how the pants will look when they're done. And what you've done when you do this is you will have the wrong sides together, which is the way a flat fell seam starts. That's also the way a French seam starts. And so um, this is just a way to kind of get you off on the right foot. So with the wrong sides together, um, you uh, will go ahead and uh, make your uh, first pass um, for the uh, for the flat felt seam here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make them and hopefully they will turn out okay. Um, I really had to put my thinking cap on with the flat felt seam on uh, these jeans. I think most of us uh, are used to seeing jeans that have two rows of stitching down the inseam. And so your first pass here to make the flat fell seam is going to be done with your top stitching thread. And of course, I'm really lucky here because I've got a dedicated machine set up to do that. So I'm not swapping threads out all the time. So on this pattern, the, the flat fell seam gets folded to the back and you just need to kind of be thinking about that and uh, sort and and it will determine which side 
of the genes you're going to do that first pass on. And if I remember correctly, um, in one way, you're going to be sewing from uh, the top down to the down to the hem, and then in the on the other leg, you're probably going to be coming in the opposite direction. You're going to be coming from the hem up to the crotch. Uh, so just kind of put your thinking cap on a little bit about that. Um, there's a lot of different ways to make a flat felt seam. Uh, you know, you can follow the directions. You may have a method that works okay for you. One thing that I think is important is to just try to get this stitching as parallel as you possibly can. So uh, the instructions say to edge stitch, but I would like not focus on the edge at all. I would just focus on trying to stay a quarter of an inch away from uh, the first line of stitching that you did. And another thing, since uh, you know that all of your sewing buds are going to be looking at your top stitching, I think it's a good idea to baste this flat felt seam into place. It just really can help improve the accuracy of your sewing. And you know, it doesn't take all that long. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and on this side, I'm gonna be starting at the hem and I'm gonna be sewing a quarter of an inch away from my first stitching. And uh, that's gonna complete the flat felt seams uh, on these quadra jeans and I, I got to say things are moving uh, right along here. It's, it's, a, it's a much easier make than I ever imagined. The flat felt seams are done on the inseam. Uh, the next step is very easy. It's just um, uh, sewing up the side seams. Uh, this seam I just did on my uh, Singer 301 just with the uh, navy blue sew all thread. And the directions tell you to just um, surge the two seam allowances together. It makes for a really nice finish on the inside. Um, you press it towards the back. And then up here, sort of along the hip, you're just gonna do um, a little edge stitch. It, it ends right at the end of the uh, front pocket. And uh, everything is very nicely uh, finished off inside here, which I think is very nice. Uh, then you just need to uh, sew up the rest of the jeans, the crotch seam and up the back. And it's my personal preference uh, to uh, put a little bias binding on that seam allowance. It just makes for a really neat appearance inside your jeans. And I would also suggest basting that seam allowance down. It just makes doing the uh, top stitching so much easier um, to do. Uh, I should also say that uh, before you do any of that top stitching, if you haven't made a muslin, you're going to want to try these on uh, because uh, the, you want the fit to be right. Because if you've done all of this uh, top stitching, in the back and they don't fit, this would be a real bear to undo. So um, I would suggest uh, just trying them on before you uh, decide to put the waistband on, which is going to be the uh, next step. It will be the next video. So basically the, the body of these jeans are complete now. Um, the only remaining uh, part to do on the body of the jeans are some bar tacks. There will be one here. I think there's also a vertical one and uh, on the back pockets. And I am saving that to the last step. Um, and I will go ahead and I will make those bar tacks with this remarkable piece of machinery here, which is the buttonholer for my Singer 201. This thing is just um miracle of engineering and it can make any size buttonhole but by adjust making all of these various adjustments it can also make a bar tack it just it just blows me away so that will be the last thing that i do on these jeans um so i think that wraps up this little video i hope the uh, hints have been helpful 
Um, as always, I wish you happy sewing and uh, come back and uh, we will finish these bad boys off. Take care and bye-bye.